You're watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. Wall Street opens this morning with two of the three major averages at record highs. With their gains yesterday, both the S&P 500 and the Dow posted their second straight records. Those gains were fueled by positive reports about manufacturing here in the U.S. and in China. Nasdaq posting a slight loss. Well, Apple has introduced its new operating system, and some analysts are calling it underwhelming. The iOS 8 operating system was unveiled at Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference in San Francisco. One of its new features is HealthKit for storing your medical history. Another is HomeKit, which controls digital household items. It won't be released until the fall. Seattle lawmakers voting to raise the city's minimum wage to $15, making it the highest in the country. The city council unanimously voted for the hike, which would start taking effect next April. Smaller businesses would have three to seven years to phase in the increase, and there is a lower training wage for teenagers. A trade group plans to sue to try to overturn that measure. The airline industry says it's fed up with the growing number of unruly passengers. The industry claims that there were more than 8,200 diverted flights last year because of a passenger acting up. That's about 3,000 more than the year before. Each of those diverted flights costs about $200,000, but airlines have very little recourse to collect that money from the responsible passengers. And be on the lookout when you're at the supermarket. Consumer experts are warning that companies like Minute Maid and Keebler are downsizing their packages and the size of their products while charging the same amount as before. Their advice, do some checking before checking out. I hate it when that happens. You got a little dent in the bottom and it means there's less juice in the bottle. Yeah? Very tricky. Sneaky.